That's true. Uh, Okosan is Lord Pudi. There is no explanation, only faith. Huh. I wouldn't imagine Ryoto would kill at a wow, but it's possible. You have nothing to make sense of. Just believe. Also, welcome back, Wayne. Oh, I can't say. But... Well, I can still welcome you back. Well, I appreciate that. I really like how that makes uh, Nageki even more uh, heroic and tragic than we had first thought. Because, yeah, that's... Wow. <laughs> At long last, the Dark Sorcerer of Wallenstein. <laughs> oh, true, true. He might have been mind controlled or something similar. And they have uh, shown that he is susceptible to uh, to Anhel's stuff, at least. Who killed uh, Emily Dickinson? Who will lay a spell on you? Like an evil wizard's porkless. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> no, the dark spell. Yeah, Mog still thinks this needs a voice pack of bird noises for everyone except Okosan, who gets a proper voice. But no one has a proper majesty for Lord Pudi. One thing I do like is that throughout the entire time, um, Shu has maintained his uh, standard personality, his motivation throughout. It's like the entire time he's saying, I don't care about anyone else. And it's like, yeah, he's not you know, motivated by you know, animus towards anyone else. It's just if they don't have anything for him, then and I'll see you later, Wayne. Yeah. Super Bowl, go team. Super Bowl, Super Bowl, the down. <laughs> unbelievably cruel things. Yeah, pretty much. How pugnacious of you. <laughs> it does make me so happy when students read ahead and come prepared for the lecture. You're exemplary. Ho, ho, ho. Man, Shu is just a... I love his characterization. Huh. 
So yeah, that's going to be kind of a problem. I mean, it doesn't really uh, set itself into birds, and it kills humans too quickly. <laughs> it never occurred to me that people would actually feel really bad about killing people. Shu has a thing for preserving bodies. That kind of worries me. Shu is definitely of the bring the mountain to Muhammad school of thought. Yeah, exactly. If you compromise someone's immune system that far, they will die. Need to say, I think we can all guess who uh, who that person is. Full marks. That could be Los Plagas. But yeah, we were right. And by that, I mostly mean Monk was right. So Ryota is responsible for uh, for Emily dying. Wow. Uh, Mark, I think what we're supposed to assume is that uh, Ryota basically went into a fugue state, and basically his mind rejected what it had just encountered and blanked it out. So yeah, he uh, he went uh, home. Er he he thinks that he went home early.
Which is why uh, Shu kept asking uh, if he remembered. Labor model new humans. Now it's just unethical. I think we can guess which head is mounted in there. No, no, no! Close, but you have to be more specific. Oof. But really, it's quite vague. That is evil. I 
welcome back again. Yep. I can say this. So Emily's parents tried to uh, serve as negotiators and got gunned down for it. Ouch. Don't want these things to happen anymore. Where humans and birds no longer fight. And if I die, I want there to be peace. I agree. Would do anything to make Ryota's wish come true. Hmm. It's quite a twisted way of fulfilling that wish, but. <laughs> More pressure! Experiment! speculate on much of anything because clearly I have missed out on project. Yeah, you've ones. missed a lot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thanks a lot, Shu. Shu is kind of the bird equivalent of the monkey's paw, I think. Mm hmm Wallenstein lock them all up. Uh, yeah, he set in a gate and uh, put in poison gas. Hey, GB. Hey, GB peppers. Well, it's sneaky because when I started it, uh, Wayne wasn't there to put the um, the update on, on yeah. the SA. And then I, I thought I figured we'd be done in an hour or two, not you know five hours later because of how long the, uh, the true ending is. Right. Yeah, I should have had you set it up, but. Mm. So it goes. <laughs> well, I've been gone most of the most of the day too. You know, uh, working today. 
It's, it's pretty crazy though. I'm definitely going to have to watch the whole thing when, uh, when I upload it. It's very interesting. <laughs> like a lot more than I thought it would. Right. I like how now uh, Sakiya has Yuya's uh, theme music. Mm. <laughs> Means that he has finally grown into a man. <laughs> Protein supplements. I wish I could go. There's someone that forced me to drink and they have protein. You know, especially if they pay for it. Stuff's expensive. <laughs> <laughs> Miserable poltroon! <laughs> okay, that's pretty great. non-nasty protein supplements actually a lot of the if you get this if you get like the the whey stuff mixed with other flavors like um, chocolate and stuff like that that's actually pretty good if you then if you like make shakes out of uh, milk and stuff like that with it or a soy milk if you don't want to add any carbs or, uh, or, or too many calories to it <laughs> well that's that's not yeah, good that's not good <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they actually put an explanation for on Hell's story. Well, yeah, all of us were shocked. Well, I don't know if the people who had seen it before uh, <laughs> were shocked, but I certainly was. I guess if you're if you're going to pull a a bait and switch with your your dating game and then actually have the true story be something like this, which is kind of similar to what they did with Tsukihime where it's like, you know, the, the porn is kind of incidental to this crazy over-the-top plot about, like, vampires and humanity and, and, and everything, then I guess you do kind of want to, you know, you, if you go, you go all the way, you know. So. <laughs> Are this one of the demon spores are? Oh, kind of. The seeds of... <laughs> Save the day. <laughs> huh. What dark sorcery is this? <laughs> Donna. <laughs> Let's 
spill a disaster with the power of the chosen one. Hmm. Mr. Ukanonghel use his ability to force him into JRPG mode. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just hope he's not one of those impossible boss fights that always put like two thirds of the game. <laughs> the status effects are normally ineffective against bosses. <laughs> Demon Red Eye heralds the awakening. I see the funeral song. <laughs> I love the idea of, you know, Anhel and the Kosa and Saki all freaking out and doing all of this stuff, and Kazumaki just kind of sitting in the back going, yep, there we go. <laughs> but he, he is the anime character that just kind of explains what's going on to the audience while everybody else is fighting with the flashing moves. Yep, he is the lazy sensei. Right. <laughs> This is madness. <laughs> Bound with red lotus feathers. <laughs> feathers. That's why I said. Yeah, you said feathers. <laughs> Textoris Melota Funas. <laughs> well, you do have a you have a full team. Hear the call of the Red Lotus. <laughs> Cuckoo! I did not know the matters, obviously. Wall will never recover, but <laughs> well, again, they have the in-universe explanation for what just happened. Right. So, well, I meant the whole Berserker class character. Oh yeah. <laughs> I know that was a joke. But... Right. Pretty much, Shu. Pretty much. You picked the wrong, uh, wrong Patsy there. I think you picked the wrong Patsy. No. Be judged by the Crimson Breath! That's the case, though. Mm. 
I'll say the journey was much better. <laughs> If you can see me staring at Wayne for that. <laughs> Healers. The Gila cells. Hmm. Unusually old human. <laughs> Like sweet love birds, which the kindness they respond to beautifully. <laughs> yeah. Like that uh the sailor joke, you know, toast to our wives and wives and sweethearts, may they never meet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Gila cells are fascinating, says Monk. I am not familiar with it. I'm guessing it's a, it's a real thing. So if you use him to mutate somebody, we can make a Gila monster. <laughs> I've managed to keep the stream going somewhat seriously. <laughs> okay, okay. Wayne demolishes it in a couple of minutes. I'm sorry. <laughs> a cancer from some lady who died in 1951. Oh. Uh, that would definitely be an unusually... Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember that now. I take it the, the idea is those cells are still alive, even though it's been... Um, uh, it's a bit too complicated to explain in the stream. Well... You might as well while the game's talking to itself. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been doing that for the past two hours. I'm not going to let it bother me now. See, this is where I'm really glad that we have been here to to handle to stream games like this. I can tell this you're getting. I just, I just, my, 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 my skip finger is itchy, you know. <laughs> yeah, I can tell you. You have been acting really bored, and it's just been a couple of minutes. So, you're distracted by things like common sense, and you'll miss the greatest discoveries of your life. <laughs> you know, it's not so much that I'm bored; it's just that it's, it's, you know, I can't really get. Engage with it because there's so much of the the plot I, I've missed, you know, while right. I'm sounding about. The feeling I probably I probably will appreciate it more. Right. Oh, whoopsie, we're low on cash. <laughs> I always spell whoops, whoops and whoopsie with a W H. Just this for the record. It's like a pushy <laughs> salesman. I use medical research. Manga, I think I could figure that part. <laughs> <laughs> but no, if you want to elaborate, feel free to. Or if that's, if that's as much as you're familiar with off the top of your head. I, I had never even heard of it. You're always busy. <laughs> so I guess you so if she's rolling. I I believe so, yeah. Mm. I wonder if Iwamine translates to something that would be some kind of pseudonym. Uh, probably. <laughs> Japanese no love for play. Tends to with spouse breach. <laughs> you think that?
I see. Okay, you know, that explains. Wow. But to say, you know, waiting, waiting to explain where they went from, you know, from this to. Oh, let's kill everyone. Oh, you missed that part, too. Hmm. That was my only goal. Shadow now. Hmm. Interesting. You know what I meant. Uh. <laughs> you know what I meant was to go from to go from that in the backstory and character development, all that stuff, to it's like okay, well, I, I get why he's obsessed and wants to fulfill the wish now, but you know why interpret it in such a way to. I think the combination of it is uh, he wants to prove that he's uh, better than uh, than uh, his fa than uh, Ryota's Ryota's father, father. Right. and then also his, uh, grant the wish. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, this is a way to do both. Right. Is, there, is, this, is this what the punchline is going to be? What you didn't ask? Right. <laughs> it's all a big misunderstanding. <laughs> and no take backsies either. Yeah. That might have made him snap. <laughs> well, okay. well, you know, while we're at it, <laughs> <laughs> you know, while we're at it. <laughs> Exactly. I wish the goblins would come and take the human race away forever. <laughs> what, what, why the goblins? You're not like orcs or elves or anything? Labyrinth. Oh, labyrinth. Oh, yeah. There uh, you go. Uh, uh. If Zane was here, he would have made the joke. Then I would have gotten it. Right, right. Except a Bowie fan and everything. <laughs> it's like something out of a science fiction movie. <laughs> <laughs> that it was built by Nibs. Oh gosh. Totally radical. Let me cut off you again. Yeah. Jeez, poor guy. Yeah. <laughs> You are so right, Song. Yeah, exactly. The Goblin King at the pole. I did this all for you, and you're not grateful. You're right. Yeah, yeah. 
just been so long since I saw the movie, I didn't remember that. But yeah, yeah. I've never actually seen the movie. Mm -hmm. I've been planning to do it some to do so at some point, but I never did. <laughs> Apparently, I think I mentioned that was Emily's soul flying around in the, the JRPG mm -hmm. scene. Yep. It's good fun. <laughs> That's what I've heard. <laughs> if you can. <laughs> <laughs> or probably face villain. Done. Get a gun all along? Apparently. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I, well, I double tap sh to sh shoe too at this point. Right, right. right. <laughs> A bit late to ask him. <laughs> Do the birds? I imagine it has to be, you know, correctly bird sized. Which means that has to be like a really small pistol. Well, I mean, um, uh, uh, Shu used a cleaver and it's pretty good sized. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm surprised. Kazuaki, stone killer. So he is stone cold. <laughs> All those students I killed. So many people I've killed. I can't remember anyone. <laughs> Wait, his brother was a quail? But but Nageki himself is his brother was a toon? <laughs> <laughs> Hitori? So so do pigeons feed humans in the park? <laughs> <laughs> So are they honestly saying that Nageki's brother, who is a morning dove, his brother was a quail? <laughs> I'm not sure how I suddenly feel about this. <laughs> yeah, maybe adopted. Yeah. That's right, I had forgotten. They were in an orphanage, so they weren't blood siblings. Hmm. That's right, that's right. Yeah, yeah. I had forgotten, oh yeah, Nageki was in an orphanage, ah. And um, you was Yuya an orphan? Uh, no. Up? No, okay. He no. was a half brother. Well, you missed yeah. it. Oh. <laughs> there is serious stuff going on with that. And, uh, Fair enough. Yeah. Aw. That's just how it is. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> the stomach scares the bad things away. <laughs> yeah, you basically <laughs> miss the entire plot. Fair enough. <laughs> this brawl does mean all of it. Okay, I, I will definitely. Uh... 
I will definitely keep. I will definitely uh, rewatch it uh, later then. See, I would just you know, turn around and and like and uh, and you know drop the and uh, you know drop the stream and everything. But I figure while I am here, I might as well try to keep them uh, company and everything. Yeah. I appreciate that as far as that goes. <laughs> as far as that goes. <laughs> And of course, keep you all company. Look at something nice. <laughs> the liberation front. Yeah, they're basically the ones who are chanting free human, uh, free humanity, and uh, basically you started killing the war orphans one by one. Oh. And uh, Emily's parents were both negotiators. Oh, I yeah. remember that, yeah. Couldn't tell what they were saying. This is a lot of backstory to go to at the very end. Right. So another Mershaw, where we're supposed to get from that one. You missed it. <laughs> <sighs> Nageki was infected with a super virus that kills humans in minutes. Ah. So all of them got infected and died by it. Mm. No, you don't understand. You missed everything. <laughs> Maybe for the best, I kept going, you know, back outside and stuff like that. I probably just be have not much to contribute, but just stunned disbelief, you know. <laughs> 